Hey guys, Bryson with Trick Tools here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Roto-Cut cutters that we offer from Hogan. So, uh, you may have seen uh, style cutters, like especially like these smaller um, kits here, uh, especially if you're familiar with the um, kind of in the automotive realm, auto body work, uh, spot weld cutters, and that sort of thing. So, um, you know, your spot weld cutters are traditionally uh, just these small bits uh, that allow you to uh, be able to easily cut through one side of a spot weld and remove panels uh, after drilling all of them out uh, And that's a great thing. So these smaller kits here um, would be uh, Kits that you could use in a hand drill easy enough uh, For certain things they have a depth of cut up to a half an inch and uh, You know that really Allows you to use them in a variety of different ways. It's not just for super thin sheet metal uh, or spot weld drilling, you can use them for a little bit thicker stuff. Uh, and these offer a very precise uh, cut. So these are gonna uh, really give you that hole uh, that's exactly the shape that it says it cuts uh, so that well, you don't have to worry about a cutter uh, maybe making the hole uh, a little bigger like a traditional hole saw or something like that or potentially even a drill bit that sometimes uh, can kind of walk as it's drilling uh, and kind of create a weird whole shape. So these are going to be a really nice precise cut. These use the arbor here that has um, a centering pin, a uh, spring-loaded pin as your uh, as your centering mechanism. So uh, it's not a pilot drill bit uh, like you would think of a standard hole saw being. Uh, so you got to push that pin down as you're drilling and because it's spring-loaded that's what helps keep it in your centering hole. Uh, the kit comes with a center punch, so wherever you find your mark, get it there, center punch it, and then that's what's going to locate uh, your hole where you get that pin on there. Press it in, like I said, it's spring-loaded, so as you get it pressed all the way down, start cutting, uh, that's where uh, it will hold itself in there. So, uh, like I said, three-quarter inch size and under are acceptable uh, to put these in a hand drill, uh, and you'll be able to uh, you know, get your holes drilled that way there are some replacement pins that the kits come with uh, because sometimes you will wear that pin out or you may bend it or something like that on accident so it does come with those pins and there's also an allen wrench in here uh, there's all real quick actually there's these little uh, sheet metal uh, washers that go underneath the hole saw on the arbor uh, to allow you to um, you know, be able to loosen them on the arbor if they tighten themselves on there as you're drilling. Uh, so that's a nice thing. And then the Allen wrench here, there's a uh, Allen set screw in the back that you can tighten or loosen, and that's gonna put more or less spring pressure on that pin, uh, depending on what you're doing. If you want a little bit less, a little more, that sort of thing, you can easily do that. Uh, and that's also how you change out the uh, pin as well. You take that whole thing out, the spring comes out, the pin comes out, you replace it. So um, nice little kits here. We have two kits available in these smaller sizes uh, that's just dedicated to these smaller sizes. You have the uh, hole cutters here and then you have the hole cutter master kit. Uh, so it's the, I guess the standard one here uh, is 5 16ths, uh, 3 8 7 16 half 9 16 5 8 and 3 quarters. And then the master kit here comes with quarter inch all the way up to three quarter uh, with a lot more of the increments in between. So you can check out that smaller cutter kit for your smaller applications. So from there, we have the bigger sizes available here. So this one on this standard kit over here is seven eighths up to inch and a half. So that's the biggest size in these roto cut cutters is the inch and a half. Um, you're gonna be able to get that uh, through half inch material uh, and they're all serrated out here on the outside edge which is going to help with material removal as you're going down through uh, and these use the same style of arbor which uses a centering pin uh, this one's obviously bigger uh, for being able to hold the bigger hole saws comes with a replacement pin and a center punch uh, in order to uh, you know punch your hole there and again once you get this uh, on here you can you know you press that down with that centering pin and that's going to hold it in place now with these bigger cutters above three quarters of an inch uh, it's not recommended uh, from Hogan to use these in a hand drill because you're using that centering pin 
uh, it's going to tend to uh, be harder to hold it directly centered in place. So they do recommend using a drill press uh, for these. That way everything's held nice and solid and precise and you can go down through, make that real precise cut without damaging the cutter or your part, that sort of thing. So definitely recommend above three quarter inch size going to a drill press with these. So um, yeah, so this kit is the seven eighths, uh, one inch, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter, inch and three eighths, and inch and a half. And the kind of this combo kit here comes with a small assortment of the uh, sizes uh, from these smaller ones. Uh, and then it also comes with the bigger sizes as well if you need an assortment of both, but you don't want to necessarily buy every cutter that they have. So, um, and the bigger kit comes with both size arbors and pins and all that stuff to go in there. So uh, check out these Hogan Rotocut cutters on our website and, uh, you know, see which ones you might need. And then if you have any more, uh, more questions on them, you can give us a call and we get those answered. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put one of these bigger ones in the drill press and we're going to show you a cut on there so you can see how nice and precise and clean that hole is. So, All right, so we've got the uh, Rotocut set up in here. This is an inch and a half size. Uh, we're drilling through some two inch square tubing here. Not super thick, um, but it's more just to give you guys the demo and you can see how nice and clean and straight uh, this cutter goes right through this material. So um, we've got the center punch marked on here, got it lined up already with the arbor. So um, we're gonna go ahead and go forward with this. Now, you always wanna make sure when you're cutting with these that you cut at the recommended speed because uh, that's going to obviously extend the life of your cutter and make sure that it's gonna do the job for you over and over, as well as doing the best cut that it can. So uh, always make sure you're using some type of uh, drilling lube. So I've got this on here, so I'm gonna bring that down a little closer, put a little bit of lubrication on there, and then we'll start cutting. Now, if I was going down through, um, you know, some way thicker material, I would definitely be stopping every once in a while to add more lubrication to the cutter, just to make sure that you're uh, keeping that thing nice and fresh and cool uh, and being able to uh, extend that life of that cutter. So um, I'm gonna brush this off of here and then we'll pull it out and uh, show you guys how nice that hole looks. So this is the slug that I just pulled out. So you can see uh, it's an outside cut. So it's gonna cut all the way around that outside edge and then uh, it'll leave the little bit of uh, any extra material as it's cutting uh, on your slug as long as you're lined up properly. And you can see how nice and crisp and uh, clean that hole is there. So uh, yeah, so you can check out these Rotocut cutters again on our website, tricktools.com. If you have any more questions about them, please give us a call and we can get those answered for you. So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.